Hey guys, Peter Franson here from ChristianGeekCentral.com and Spirit Play Productions. I wanted to take a minute and let you guys know kind of what's coming up this Saturday with my big 24-hour video game live stream for uh, Extra Life. That's this Saturday, November 7th. It's starting at 5 a.m. Pacific Time, 6 a.m. Arizona Time, 24 hours straight of, uh, of video game stuff. Uh, so the I wanted to kind of go over some notes with you here to give you an idea of the schedule of events and then just in general what you can expect when you tune in. This is kind of like a stream of second chances for video games I've, I've found. I am kind of challenging myself to almost exclusively play games that I've never played on a live stream before. That's not going to be true across the board I don't think, but pretty darn close. Um, so games I've never played on a live stream before and games that I'm either excited to play again that I've played through and enjoyed once already in my life or that I'm giving a second chance to try and enjoy and in that latter category I'm actually feeling very optimistic about the games that I have installed and have gotten ready to to play on Saturday now a lot can change during these um, marathons especially at night as I'm just gonna play whatever works to best keep me alert and engaged uh, but the games I have installed and that are ready to go for Saturday include the side-scrolling space shooter Habroxia uh, which you may not have heard of but it has some upgrading RPG elements that I've, I've really kind of glommed on to and so I've been enjoying that. Uh, I might play some Darkest Dungeon. I'm not sure how well that'll work for a stream because it's going to take some focus to strategize and stuff and so if the chat's really active I might just close out and say never mind let me play something a little more brainless. Uh, but I've been enjoying that a lot lately. Fallout 3 I've been coming back to lately really enjoying that and doing my Terminator run making all my choices of the, as though I'm a Terminator and uh, that's been a lot of fun. Far Cry Blood Dragon. I love the Far Cry games, almost all of them, and this is one that I've never really given a good try to. I got back into it, put my feet in the water this week to test it out, and I was like, oh, dang, I might really, really enjoy this. I don't know why I never got around to playing this one before. So that one is undoubtedly going to be part of the live stream at some point. Also on my bucket list, Star Wars The Force Unleashed. That's a game that's celebrated my bit by many gamers, um, and uh, I've bought that, got it really cheap for my boys mostly last Christmas but uh, I, I've wanted to give it a try myself I think it might be the kind of gameplay that I enjoy so I'm planning to get into that uh, the Bioshock inspired game Singularity which uh, you may have never heard of but if you're a fan of Bioshock it's definitely one worth checking out it uses some cool time travel uh, and time distortion time manipulation elements a really neat game uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker, the real-time with pause, D&D-inspired, uh, kind of CRPG-style game on the PS4 that I've really been enjoying a lot. Um, let's see here, the Far Cry-inspired Homefront The Revolution, which definitely has its flaws, but since it's been patched a number of times since launch, I've found a lot to enjoy in that game, especially right now with Far Cry 6 being delayed uh, and really not having up to this point an urban Far Cry experience. We might get that with Far Cry 6, we'll see. But this is the closest I've experienced of like a more in, in, inner city, like an urban type of Far Cry uh, game. So I'm looking forward to getting into that some. I'm coming back to Horizon Zero Dawn to play the DLC since it was on uh, on sale not too long ago and uh, get, getting my feet wet in that again I realized oh yeah I, I remember why I really liked a lot of the gameplay in this. Have some issues with uh, the, the story a bit here and there but uh, really enjoyed the, the game so that's been neat to come back to. Agents of Mayhem was one that I thought I would never come back to but I was just in the mood about a couple week or two ago for something that was open world and kind of shooty zappy with some sci-fi elements but not really like thinky and it had kind of just a, an active arcadey feel and that really seemed to fit the bill. Now I gotta put up with the humor that I really don't care for in the game. Uh, just kinda hits me like you know like somebody reading from a dictionary but uh, yeah, I, I really found myself enjoying that. So, going to be getting into that. Mass Effect Andromeda, another game that's been patched a lot. And getting back into it, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Now that I'm done with, uh, now that I'm kind of recently been uh, introduced to Star Trek Discovery and really enjoying that, I was in the mood for like a space exploration type of uh, uh, RPG. And this is, I've really been enjoying the gameplay at least. I'm not hooked into the story really at all, but uh, the, the gameplay I'm enjoying more than my first impressions uh, of the game when it came out a couple years ago. Titan Quest, 
This is just a Diablo clone style of game that uh, will be, I think, really chat conducive. Maybe when chat gets really busy, I'll put on Titan Quest, because there's not a lot of like thinking I'll need to do while I play that game, but it's still one that I enjoy. Turn-based RPG Battle Chasers Night War, another one you might not have heard of, but it's kind of a blend in styles of uh, JRPGs and Western RPGs, and uh, I've been looking for an excuse to really give some time to that. Been coming back to Spider-Man PS4, have not been able to love this game as much as I really want to, but I, about a week ago, reinstalled it, got past some of the dumb stealth story missions with MJ and uh, Miles that uh, I was like, oh, why do I gotta do this? And so now I'm back into the open world section of the game again and uh, ready to kind of have fun swinging around and being Spider-Man. So uh, that hopefully will be some fun. Uh, I, I might get out Stargate for the Atari 2600. That's my favorite game for that system. Uh, it's basically like a Defender. It's the precursor to Resogun if you're a fan of Resogun. So anyway, I'll probably get that out maybe at the very beginning of my marathon, you know, just to touch on that and then move on to other things. And then finally, Castlevania Harmony of dissonance really been in the mood as I seem to be the the weeks leading up to extra life every year uh, really been in the mood for a symphony like a metroidvania that's specifically like Castlevania Symphony of the Night and uh, this one certainly fits the bill and I've uh, enjoyed already what I started playing of it during my non scary games live stream a week ago um, or was that earlier this week no it was last week I think anyway <laughs> so my stream is starting at 5 a.m. Pacific time this Saturday 6 a.m. Arizona time with a family friendly block of games for about the first three hours. They're all going to be rated T or lower, so if you want to tune in with your kids while they're having cereal and have a little bit of that Saturday morning experience, that doesn't mean they're going to be free of blood and stuff. There are some T-rated games that I'll be playing that have some blood in them, but they're not going to be full-on, you know, gory and crazy like a like an M-rated game. And of course, you can go to ESRB.org and enter the title of any game uh, that I play to get more information about why it's rated what it is. Uh, then, let's see, at 8 a.m. Pacific Time, 9 a.m. Pacific uh, 9 a.m. Arizona time, excuse me, I will give my fundraising report and then I will carry out donor requests and crazy milestone stunts, which I did not think I was going to be doing a bunch of my milestones, but then I was shocked that uh, suddenly a couple or like two or three major donations suddenly got me to to the point of having to do all of my crazy stunts this year. So, uh, some donor requests. I'm going to be singing some Miley Cyrus and some Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I'm going to announce all the free content that's been unlocked for the free download day coming up at, uh, at spiritblade.com on November 11th. I'm going to show embarrassing clips of a movie I made with a, a college buddy, Mike Tully, who also is the voice of Rand Galvanic in the Spirit Blade audio drama trilogy. I'm going to put on frozen socks and a frozen t-shirt at the same time, and maybe while I'm still wearing them, shoot water up my nose with a turkey baster. I mean, I'm definitely going to shoot water up my nose with a turkey baster, but uh, how close on the tails of the frozen socks and t-shirt remains to be seen. I'm going to see if I can get them as much as possible, just running one right into the other. Um, and then, let's see here, I'm going to fulfill some donor video game requests, including playing Contra 3, The Alien Wars, and Final Fantasy 3 for the Super Nintendo. And let's see here, one I thought, one of my stunts that I thought I was safe from last week is the worst one of all that's been unlocked. I have to beat Super Mario Brothers for the NES by the end of 2020 without using cheat codes. Never done that before, hate that game, frustrates me, represents what I hate about so many games of that era. Um, and I'm gonna be recording and publishing that endeavor, beginning with my Extra Life Marathon as I'm fulfilling donor requests. I'll, I'll spend at least 15 minutes giving my first attempt to that game, and then throughout the rest of the year I will publish what remains of my attempts until I succeed. Uh, so, good gravy. Uh, one unlocked milestone I will enjoy this Saturday, however, is having my wife, Holly, play video games with me during the live stream for 30 minutes. Uh, really looking forward to that. All of that stuff is going to start at 8 a.m. Pacific Time, 9 a.m. Arizona Time this Saturday. Holly's going to be playing with me for 30 minutes starting at about 10.30 a.m. Pacific, 11.30 a.m. Arizona Time. Uh, and then I'm also going to have some fun videos playing during my meal breaks featuring content originally exclusive to patrons. Uh, and let's see, my sister Corinne is going to be joining me for some of the early nighttime hours and the, the patrons of Patreon 
patreon.com slash spiritbladeproductions. We'll be chatting with me for an hour via Discord voice chat uh, starting at 8 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Arizona time. And then throughout the marathon, of course, I'll be interacting with text chat uh, from those of you watching anytime you want to jump into the, the chat and say hi or strike up conversation. Now, all bets, as I said earlier, are off regarding what's going to happen as we go past midnight. I'm known to get pretty kooky in an effort to stay awake. So what I play, what I say, what I do, that is going to be anybody's guess starting around maybe 11 something, as early as 11 something, but certainly after midnight. But I cannot wait to do, to do this again this year, and I would love to see you there. For now, I'm going to leave you with some highlights from last year to give you a taste of what might be coming this Saturday. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Here for the 24-hour Extra Life Marathon live stream. A little suspect talking about yourself in the third person. Oh man, that's creepy. <laughs> uh, that Benadryl's hanging on. Uh, it's a little preview of the late night kookiness that's going to be coming in about <laughs> 16 hours. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, uh, ah! No, oh, that's really intense. Mm. Okay, let's do the other one, right? Uh, let's do the other one. It reminds me of like a really bad childhood swimming experience. Good. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh man! I should have applied a rating to this. What is this? Is this PG-13 or R? Ah, it's rated ah. Liberate tu teme, right? Uh, frozen solid T-shirt. So this thing is looking pretty, pretty solid. I, I need to get it flexible first. Ah, oh jeez, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ha ha ha. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Da bond ich sie mit Rosen bänden, sie fühlt es nicht. Ooh, I gotta heal. See, I can't be singing German stuff when I'm getting shot at by people. I'm already thinking about tomorrow. Tomorrow's my recovery day. I will limp on back into here, fire up some Jack Ryan Season 2 on Amazon with all my goodies. Yeah. You are the loudest eater. You know what? Do you guys hear him chewing? <laughs> yes, they've been here. <laughs> I gotta look and s uh, see what the. <laughs> I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm working on. I got a burp that needs to work itself out. Okay. <laughs> Mint fudge enrobed cookies. I've been dreaming about these. Say it with a smile and hold it up to the camera. Kroger mint fudge enrobed cookies. Cookie. See it. Deep cookies. Back. Kroger. Kroger, Kroger, <laughs> Kroger, mint fudge and robed cookies. That was pretty good. Oh, it's still not there. <laughs> what are you doing? The same time zone as Beijing. Oh, jeez, what? Oh my gosh, Corinne touched me. Push the button. It does nothing. I must need a quest to get through here. Unlock. It's locked and can only be opened with the proper key. Come on, don't leave me hanging at this loading screen. Don't leave me hanging with my Kroger mint fudge and robed cookies. Better than a Girl Scout in every way. I'm getting a lot, a lot of good marking done. I'm, I excel in marking. I get my highest marks in marking. In fact, my name is Mark. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the sweet spot of this game. This is what I love. And it's got the crunchy boots, come on now. Those crunchy boots. Those foley sounds, come on now. Come on now with the foley sounds. Break it down with the foley sounds. Foley sounds. Foley sounds. Foley. I'm looking at the chat, and you probably, if you're watching, 
and looking at the chat see the same thing I do but it's got my username at the bottom and then below that says say something you know and I never type in the chat because I'm blabbing here but when I glance over the chat my for one reason or another my eye gravitates towards say something and I'm like yeah that's right you gotta say something Peter that's how you stay awake that's how you stay awake at this point you say something just something like customize or appearance tutorial or visual palette one you just say something all right we gotta say something and that's saying something climb every mountain for every stream follow every rainbow <laughs> I tried to say something there, it did not work out. The caffeine's kicking in, I feel it now. I feel it now. Because... It's making me want to do things, but my brain isn't working. And so, I'm just doing, I'm wanting to do things... Without any direction given by the brain, which has gone to sleep about 45 minutes ago. But the body's moving, the mouth is moving, the fingers are doing. Okay. But if I can ride this, if I can ride this, then I'll have the power. Hang on to this for a little while. Hang on to this. Load Roger Cataret. Load. Me likey the UV, Ubisoft gamey. Me likey. <laughs> Me likey Ubisofty gamey. Ubisoft. Thank you, Ubisoft. <laughs> Thank you, UB. UB. You be so good to me. <laughs> And I be so good for you. We be good together. <laughs> Nathan Norman says, Good night, sweet prince. A flight of angels sing thee to thy sleep. Thank you. Very sweet of you. Um, yeah, this has been um, another really fantastic year. Uh, as like fried as I am and as like as ready as I am to go and just totally collapse. I'm also all the more ready to do this again next year. Love you guys. Have a great, have a great day. <laughs> I'll see you later.